Hey, this is Jeff from Diamond TV, and we're here today to talk about the DBZ Diamond Imperial AB series. So the Imperial guitar has been a staple of the DBZ Diamond line actually since the company's opened. This particular version of the guitar is the AB model, so we're going to look at that in depth. For those of you who are looking at an Imperial guitar, interested in Imperial guitar, we also have a comparative rundown that shows you the differences between the various Imperial models to help you decide which one you're most interested in. We also have some in-depth videos of the Imperial FM series as well as the Bigsby series. So today we're going to talk about the AB series. The Imperial guitar, as I said, has been a staple of the line. Really classic body shape with the oversized body feel. So the oversized body has been significant body style. You typically see it on a hollow body or semi-hollow body. In this case, you have the oversized body with a solid body configuration. One of the things that's interesting about the Imperial body is the thinness of the body. If you take a look, you can see how thin the guitar is all the way across the sides, runs all the way around the guitar. So when you look at a profile of the guitar, you're getting a really nice, thin, contoured design. That's going to be on all sides of the guitar, as we mentioned. What's great about the thinness of the body is how comfortable it makes it in playing position. Even the back of the body is contoured all the way around the body. So you get a really nice waist cut, nice cut if you're sitting, playing it on the knee, and it gives it a perfect nice feel, keeps it in close to the body and very comfortable for you to play. So this particular model, the Imperial AB, is a mahogany version. Now a lot of people have asked us about the thinness of the body and what the design element was behind that. Well, it's a very simple concept. If you take a certain mass of wood, you make it smaller and thicker, it's not going to resonate as well because it's dense and it's heavier so you don't get the vibration out of the wood. When you take that same mass of wood and you spread it across a larger body like this and you make that whole body thinner as a result, it makes it easier for the wood to resonate. So that's going to give you a nice, full, warm, open sound. It's also, like I said, going to make it very comfortable to play. And you get the extra resonance, the extra sustain that you want out of the guitar that's sometimes difficult to get out of a guitar. So this particular model, as I mentioned, is a solid mahogany body. Of course, mahogany is one of the great woods for a guitar. It also has a mahogany neck set neck joint with a nice low profile contoured neck shape which makes it very easy to get up to the upper frets of the guitar. The AB series got its name because of the binding. As I showed you on the side here you can see the cream binding that runs all the way around the body. That's the characteristic look of the AB series of guitars. On top of that this the AB series and the Imperial has the neck binding as well. The entire fingerboard is bound, which gives it a very smooth feel on the side of the guitar. A real classic upgraded look with the cream binding going all the way around the fingerboard too. So let's talk about some of the features of the guitar as well. We use a tunematic bridge with a stop tail design. It's characteristic of several of our models. Very favored style of a lot of different guitars and a lot of different players the custom DBZ tailpiece, tunematic bridge. The electronics on the guitar are simple and easy to navigate. We have a tone control, we have a volume control, and a three-way selector switch, which gives you the bridge position, all the way up being the neck position, and in the middle is going to be the split neck and bridge pickups, which gives you a really, really neat sound for the cleans, one of my personal favorites for clean sounds. The pickups in the bridge, posi bridge position is the DBZ Custom, DBZ Diamond Custom R11. For those of you who have been playing our guitars for some time, you'll know that historically we used the DBZB Bridge Pickup. This was one of my particular designs, the DBZB Bridge Pickup. This year that pickup became the R15. It's a very high output pickup. In this particular case, we did a variation of that pickup called the R11. The R11 is going to give you a lower gain, more vintage sounding pickup, nice and warm without it being too gainy, too overdriven, which makes it a very versatile pickup. 
The neck position is the DBZ Diamond Custom N9C, which is the neck pickup we most frequently use. Very classic design there as well. It's going to be very reminiscent of, let's say, the 59 style pickups that a lot of players have gotten used to and one of the most common styles of neck pickup. Again, that's going to give you a full, warm, round tone. Really pretty sounding cleans, full sounding cleans. So the AB series also features gold hardware, which is a great offset to the solid color looks on the guitar. Gives it, again, an upgraded and a very classy look to the guitar. We're using a rosewood fingerboard in a 22 fret configuration with the DBZ custom inlays. And as with all of our guitars, we feature Grover tuning keys. So you get great performing tuning keys on the guitar. So the AB series also comes in three colors. Let's take a look at them. These are gorgeous. The one that I've been that I've been using here for the demonstration is a purple satin. Satin finishes a completely different look and feel from the standard gloss finishes. Gives it sort of that satin matte look, which also makes it very comfortable to play, very comfortable to touch, smooth surface. It's great too on the back of the neck with the satin finishes. Perfect for making the neck flexible, making it comfortable for you. You can slide the hand up and down it very easy. In this case, in the Imperials, we use a standard U neck shape. So you can see here the, ne the standard U profile on the neck. This is one of the preferred profiles for guitar. When you grab the neck and you cup your hand around it, your hand's going to naturally make a U shape. So the neck is contoured to fit the hand extremely well. It's a good size neck, very solid neck. It's not too big, so it's a chunky baseball fat bat feel. It's also not a, one of those that's particularly thin neck that you see on a lot of guitars where people are playing very fast and take a different hand position. So that makes the neck extremely comfortable in the hand. Let's take a look at the finishes now of the guitars. As I mentioned, this is the purple satin. All sides of the guitar, including the neck, the back, and the front, are in the purple satin finish. The other two satins available in the Imperial AB series on my left, your right, is going to be the dark blue. This is the dark blue satin. Very dark navy kind of blue looks really really pretty in person uh, on my right your left is going to be the caddy green satin this is also a very unique color reminiscent of things a little bit more vintage beautiful dark shade of forest green all the guitars as you can see feature the gold hardware really just fantastic accent to the satin finishes and the deep rich colors so that is the Imperial AB series. Thanks for checking this out. Make sure you check the other videos on the various Imperial models so you can get a good comparison and help you decide which of these models is right for you.